Hey guys, my name is Will Ross. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to go over four JDM cars that you can buy today under $10,000 that you can modify that are pretty sweet looking and honestly underrated in my opinion. If you would leave a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. We're on the road to 400 now. We just hit 300 subscribers and I'm very thankful for that. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Uh, and without further ado, let's get into the video. The first one I'm going to throw in here is the cheapest on the list uh, and it's the Mitsubishi Lancer GTS. So for an ideal Mitsubishi Lancer, uh, you're gonna be paying top dollar in the $30,000 range, uh, maybe even $25,000 range, but we're talking about $10,000 under. So this is the GTS model made in 2009, is the model that I would go for. Uh, it's still got great specs, it's just way underrated uh, compared to the one that was made in the 90s. This one comes standard with 168 horsepower coming out of a inline four 2.4 liter engine. So it's definitely not the fastest on this list, but with all the money that you're saving um, from buying this car, you can turn it into something that's mega fast. I mean, with all the money that you're saving, I found one for uh, just over $5,000 and you can use the extra 5,000 to turn this thing into a 300 horsepower beast. Here's what I found in my area, uh, 2011 Mitsubishi Lancer GTS going for just around $5,500. Uh, and is it automatic, but with the extra money that you're saving, you could swap that out for a manual transmission or just do some modifications that is gonna make it look a lot cooler or a lot faster. I personally don't know why these are so underrated as I love the look. I think that they have a lot of potential to be a supercar slayer. The second one on my list is the Toyota Mark II. This was made from 1968 all the way up to 2004, so they've got tons of them out there. Uh, the one that I found for under $10,000 is a 1996 model just going for under $7,000. This in my opinion is a really great deal as it's got a manual transmission and just under 100,000 kilometers. So there's actually compact versions and mid-size sedan versions of both of these. You can go with either one but the one that I found is a mid-size sedan. Uh, the compact looks a little bit better but you may be paying a little bit more top dollar. This thing comes standard with 160 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 147 pound-feet of torque. In my opinion this is one of the best looking on the list right behind the Lancer. I love the way these look modified and stanced out. I just think it's a really cheap option if you want to go for something that maybe you haven't worked on a project car before. You can buy this for cheap, mod it for cheap, and it still looks like a really uh, quality car. This is like the little brother of a cool Supra. You can kind of pull up to a car meet and a lot of people are going to ask about your Mark II. I just think it's really cool looking and definitely deserves a spot on this list because it's a nice JDM car that's underrated. It's under $10,000 and you can use that extra money to make it look pretty sweet. Sticking with Toyota, my number three on the list is the Toyota MR2. So this car was made from 1984 all the way up until 2007, so there's many options out there. Toyota likes to kind of expand these, these uh, product lines, but I think that the MR2 is another very underrated car that you can definitely find for under $10,000. So throughout the different models that you can find, you can find one for as little as 135 horsepower all the way up until uh, 200 horsepower. Uh, so honestly, it just depends on your budget and kind of your willingness to pay top dollar. Obviously, the 200 horsepower is going to be some of the newer models that you're going to pay uh, a little bit more for, maybe over $10,000. And the 135 horsepower ones are going to be the under $10,000 mark. Uh, but again, it's a great chassis and great platform that you can start modifying uh, right when you get it. And it's really cool to see at car meets. I've seen one uh, around my area in Atlanta, and I just thought it was like something that stuck out because not a lot of people have it. But a lot of people are asking questions. So you're getting that attention and you're getting that uniqueness for under $10,000. I think it's a really, really cool thing. The model that I found is a 1989 Toyota MR2 and it's actually supercharged. This one comes with a five speed manual, removable T-tops and some light modifications. This is definitely a neck snapper and I think it's just a really good value. In my opinion, I think these are gonna go up because people are gonna start realizing what gems these are. Uh, so get them while you can when they're under $10,000 because I'm pretty sure you can buy one now and sell it in a couple of years and pretty much not pay anything for it. Uh, in the time that you've kind of owned the car and modified it. My number three on the list is the Toyota MR2. So my number four on the list is actually the one that's outside of our $10,000 budget. If you're willing to go up to that $15,000 budget, I really think it's worth it. It's a Nissan Skyline GTS. So believe it or not, these can actually be found for under $20,000. The only ones that I've found uh, that are in good quality, good condition are gonna be like $30,000, $40,000, obviously, because now JDM cars are skyrocketing, but I actually found one for under $15,000. This one was a 1994 Nissan Skyline GTS. Uh, for just under $14,000. Now it is an automatic, so there are some things if you wanted to change it to manual, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. This is a higher end car, so you're gonna spend more modifying it, but I think it was worth throwing on this list because this is such a great deal, especially when Skylines are definitely skyrocketing towards the higher appreciated cars. Um, you're gonna be able to own this for 10 years and then sell it for more
more than you've ever paid for it. I think this is a really good deal to hop on if you definitely can. Not to mention the Skyline is just a classic JDM car. If you don't know anything about JDM, the Skyline and the Supra are pretty much the babies of the JDM community. Everybody seeks a Skyline to modify. And while this isn't a top spec and it's not a manual, it's not you know modified or anything like that, it's not really a GTR, it's a GTS, it's still something that is the same chassis, same platform that you can get into the JDM market with that people are going to appreciate and ask you about constantly. The Skyline doesn't really need any justification. This thing is an absolute animal, an absolute beast, uh, and it's something that you can turn into a mega neck snapper uh, when you're going down the road. It does come in a sedan version and a compact version. I like the compact version. The one I threw on here is a sedan version, so uh, if that kind of bothers you, keep that in mind. But nevertheless, it's a Skyline. You can't really go wrong. That's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, we just hit 300 subscribers. I'm really appreciative of that. If we can get that to 400, 500 here in the next couple months, that would be much appreciated. But I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.